Southeast 614 is so foggy outside, maybe not a good day to do some aerial activities, but we are on weather alert this um, morning or later this evening rather because of some severe storms that's headed our way, Trey. That's right. The main core uh, threat with, with the storms will be between 5 p.m. and after midnight tonight. But this morning, the issue is a lot of dense fog. This is Ames at US 30, just west of University Boulevard. Visibility there under a quarter of a mile. Temperature 56 with winds out of the north at around 6 miles per hour this morning. The fog is very thick, especially over central and uh, northern portions of the state. But we'll start to see that erode as the winds in the atmosphere begin to pick up. That'll help to mix that fog out by 9 to 10 o'clock this morning. Once the fog does clear out, then our main concern will be the threat of severe weather today. There's a slight to enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center, and the main threats with these storms today will primarily be high winds and very large hail. And there's also a potential for a tornado as well. We'll talk about that in just a second. These are the thunderstorms we've been watching this morning back here across parts of eastern Nebraska. The general trend with these has been weakening over the last hour or so. We, had, we were at one point near 150 strikes of cloud to ground lightning and now we're down to around 40. So we'll continue to watch these. There's a chance they may impact our northern counties here uh, through the morning to midday hours, but the main core threat will arrive later on this afternoon. So you can see that chance for storms through around 10 to noon. We'll see a break during the midday hours before temperatures heat up into the mid 80s and more storms arrive later on this evening. Here's the surface map this morning. We have this stationary front over the state uh, across parts of southern Iowa and we're watching this low pressure down in the parts of Kansas. As that lifts off to the northeast, this will eventually turn back into a warm front, really helping to enhance the heat and moisture content in the atmosphere. That working in conjunction with this disturbance that we're watching out here in the desert southwest will amp up our thunderstorm chances later on this evening. So we'll watch that complex progress off to the east this morning again, mainly along and north of I-80 through around 10 to noon. Now that complex of thunderstorms could leave an outflow boundary draped somewhere across central Iowa. So if we see any ice Isolated storms develop along this boundary, say around 5 to 8 p.m. If they interact with that boundary, some of those could rotate and possibly produce a tornado. But our main core window of severe weather will come during the midnight hour or the late evening into the overnight hours as this big complex of thunderstorms pushes across the state. That will contain a very high wind and large hail threat. In terms of rainfall, amounts will range from a quarter of an inch to locally over one inch. Again, it's going to depend on if you get under one of those thunderstorms or not. So we'll continue to watch that threat of severe weather today. 86 is your forecast high. We'll be down to 60 tonight. A little bit cooler tomorrow once those storms clear up, but we may see some redevelopment in our eastern counties. Tuesday right now looks mostly dry, but then another slow moving storm system arrives by the middle to end of this week with more storm chances and temperatures in the 80s, overnight lows in the upper 50s to low 60s.